بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم دس از دا سورا ملک چیلنج in which we are requesting all our brothers and sisters to use the opportunity of the month of Ramadan to memorize the 30 verses of Surah Tabarak and thereby fulfill the wish of Nabi Kareem sallallahu alayhi wa sallam for his ummah that each one should have the surah in their hearts and a brief translation and explanation of is given of the verses today inshallah ta'ala we shall cover Ayat number 7 and Ayat number 8. A'udhu billahi minash shaitani rajeem. Bismillahir rahmanir rahim. Iza ulqu fiha sami'u laha shahiqaw wa hiya tafoor. When they are thrown into it, that is the fire of Jahannam, they will hear it roaring as it rages. Allahu Akbar. This goes to show the level of anger there will be in the fire of Jahannam for those that are thrown into it, it will unleash its fury upon them. It will unleash its fury upon them. In the previous ayat, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala speaks about how Jahannam has been prepared for the disbelievers and here Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is making mention that there are those people that now who will be thrown into the fire of Jahannam what they, what, are, what they are going to experience there. So we repeat the translation, when they are thrown into it, that is the fire of Jahannam, they will hear it roar as it rages. They will be a, like a, how a lion roars when it attacks an animal, it gives its roar. And that roar is so frightening that it will make a person freeze with fear. That is how Jahannam will have a roar. And this will be part of the punishment and azab, the fear, the terror that people will, ex- will experience. May Allah protect us. Ayat number 8. تَكَادُوا تَمَيَّزُوا مِنَ الْغَيْضُ كُلَّمَا أُلْقِيَ فِيهَا فَوْجٌ سَأَلَهُمْ خَزَنَتُهَا أَلَمْ يَأْتِكُمْ نَذِيرٌ In this ayat, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the translation, it will seem as if it is about to burst open with fury. Each time a group group of people is thrown into it, its keeper, the keeper of Jahannam, will ask, did a warner not come to you? Did a warner not come to you? Repeat the translation. It will seem as if it is about to burst open in fury. Each time a group of people is thrown into it, its keeper will ask, did a warner not come to you? So, Jahannam will be raging. It will be roaring. It will be raging. And such will be the rage and the, the fierceness and ferocity of Jahannam that it will appear as if it is going to burst open in anger and fury. And every time a group of people will be thrown into it as their reckoning will be done, the hisab will be completed. And they will be taken by the malaika and driven and thrown into the fire of Jahannam. Then the keeper of the fire of Jahannam, whose name is Malik. The keeper of Jannah is called Ridwan. And the keeper of Jahannam is called Malik. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala makes mention of his name in the Quran also. Wanado ya Maliku liyakdi alayna rabbuk qala innakum makisun. The people will call out to Malik, the keeper of Jahannam, but he will say, go, you people are going to stay here forever. There will be no release for you. So they will ask the keeper of Jahannam, Malik, they will ask him, uh, when the keeper of Jahannam will ask them, that ayat is where they will ask him. Here, the keeper of Jahannam, Malik, will ask the, uh, these people who are thrown into Jahannam, how did you end up here? Did a warner not come to you? Wasn't a Nabi sent to you? Weren't warnings given to you? Weren't you told about Jahannam? Weren't you warned about disobedience of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and disbelief? Obviously it's a rhetorical question, meaning that definitely the messengers came. Definitely the warnings were given. But alas, you did not heed the question. You did not heed the warnings. So now this is the outcome of your disobedience. May Allah save us all.